There's a lot to cover after the latest Direct for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, but before we can get to the real meat for an analysis video, which is coming very soon by the way, I thought we'd quickly break down all of the new stages revealed. The best way to see them all is during the stage select screen in My Music. Here they're all colored and much easier to make out. Starting from the top and going left to right, we have Battlefield, Big Battlefield, Final Destination, and Mushroom Kingdom U. The only new stage revealed of this set is Big Battlefield, which we've seen a lot of both in press materials and the Direct itself. It looks just like the normal Battlefield except with a longer base and many more platforms. The next row features Mario Galaxy, Delfino Plaza, Mario Kart 8's Mario Circuit, the Mario Circuit from Brawl, and Luigi's Mansion. All of these are new except for Mario Galaxy. Obviously there's more to see from each of these, but we'll get into those details in our upcoming analyses. Moving down a row, there's Jungle Hijinks, Skyloft, The Bridge of Elden, Temple, Pyrosphere, and Norfair. Jungle Hijinx is of course the only known example of a dual plane stage so far, while the others were either already known or coming back from past Smash games. Next up is Port Town Aerodive, a new mysterious stage, Yoshi's Island, the Danger Zone filled Great Cave Offensive, Halberd, and the Orbital Gate Assault. So while many of these are ones that were in past games that we've heard about extensively, there is that mystery stage. What could it be from? Well, it looks to be from Yoshi's Woolly World based on its colorful appearance, proximity to the other Yoshi stage, and the fact that zooming in on it shows a cloth-like appearance and even an egg-shaped tree. Going down a row, we have the return of Lilac Cruise, the Pokemon Callus League, Onet, Colosseum, Castle Siege, and Palutena's Temple. While there are new stages in this row that we haven't heard about before, they're all returning stages from Brawl. The same can be said for the next row of stages which features Skyworld, Gamer, The Garden of Hope, Town and City, and the Wii Fit Studio. But the following set does have a brand new stage included. The row consists of the Boxing Ring, Gower Plains, 75 Meters, the new Wrecking Crew stage, and the Pilot Wings stage. What's interesting is that while the Wrecking Crew stage keeps the general aesthetic, it's not using the 8-bit sprites, much like 75 meters. The final row includes the newly confirmed Woohoo Island, Windy Hills, and Dr. Wily's Castle. But that's not actually all the stages. In a released screenshot, there are other confirmed stages as well, including Congo Jungle from Smash 64 and Animal Crossing Smashville from Brawl. But there's one more stage that can be glimpsed during the Direct. In event mode, one of the icons for an event shows Pikachu, Greninja, and Lucario hanging out in Pokemon Stadium 2, which means that will be back as well. And we still haven't seen all the stages as there's no sign of Pac-Land, meaning it's unlockable. And we guess there are quite a few more stages to unlock. But there's a ton more to see from this Direct, including specific details on many of these stages. And you can be sure we'll cover it all as we dive deeper into Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. If you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter at GameXplain. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to GameXplain for more on Smash Bros. and other things gaming too.